I'm here at the Divertimenti Culinary Salon Food and Memory, and it's my pleasure to welcome Faye Mashler. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure. And you are the restaurant critic for the Evening Standard, and you've been doing restaurant reviews for how many years? 42 years. 42 years. Yeah. I won a competition in 1972, and the prize was to do the job for three months. And it's gone on and on and on. <laughs> do you have any idea how many you've done in total? <sighs> Not really, but a lot, a lot. Well, the subject tonight is food and memory, and I was thinking about you and your job and of restaurants that you remember clearly, and I wondered if you have deeper memories of ones that you really liked or ones that you really didn't like. Um, both, but both. I mean, a few outstandingly dreadful places come to mind, but yeah, I mean, the ones I really like are the ones I feel warmly about and that, you know, have influenced restaurants for the better. Is there, is there a little bit of science in restaurant reviewing? Because you're eating a meal, you're thinking about it, you're thinking about you know, what your impressions are, and then you have to go back and translate that into words that's going to mean something to the reader. Yes. Well, I mean, you just get used to doing that. And I, in the old days, I'd take notes. Now I take photographs and maybe a few notes. But photographs actually are curiously evocative. You can mm. remember quite a lot just looking at the dish. It's quite helpful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I was wondering too about um, about reviewing a restaurant and how do you separate what might be subjective versus what you feel is objective and try mm. to kind of get that balance in the piece. Well, I just try to be a customer. Mm. That's what I try to be, um, and see it from the point of view of somebody going out to a particular place. Are they going to find what it is they were looking for? Is the place delivering the thing they've you know intended to do? It's you know, we're all customers, and I, I try not to, not to, not have a good time. If you see what I mean? I try, <laughs> I try to enjoy it, because I don't think it's fair just to go and kind of be forensic about it. No, and that's a real art, isn't it? Because you need to kind of be there as our kind of ambassadors to figure yeah. out if it's if it's worth if it. If it's or enjoyable. Not. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I, I'm quite careful about who I go with a lot of the time. People who are actually interested in food, mm. in restaurants, and have something to say. Because sometimes, if you take people out, they're just so grateful to be given a meal that you know they say really uninteresting things like, "This is really tasty." You're like, like you're that. not helping me any. You're not helping me, no. <laughs> And now, I mean, with all of the restaurants opening in London, I mean, it just seems like every minute there's something new. Yeah. Is the quality there, or is it just a lot of them happening? I mean, how well, do you find it? It's there in little, in little places, like just, for example, this week, the one I'm reviewing for two I'm reviewing tomorrow are Thai restaurants run by English guys who are doing something completely different with Thai food, rather like David Thompson, mm. but they're younger and a bit more groovy ones in... London Fields, one's in Soho, and you know, so in little tributaries, things suddenly get much better. I wouldn't say overall it gets better all the time. Interesting. Faye Mashler, thank you so much for joining us at the Culinary Salon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.